Before that, though, a man has told a court that he didn't deliberately try to flout an order stopping him from publishing material linking the parents of Madeleine McCann with her disappearance. Yes, Tony Bennett denies contempt of court and is waiting for a judge to deliver his verdict after the hearing. Mr Bennett told us he would now end his campaign. Michael Sullivan reports. Tony Bennett, a member of the Madeleine Foundation, arriving at the High Court in London. He's alleged to have breached on 26 occasions an undertaking made not to publish certain allegations about Kate and Jerry McCann. Allegations that link them to their daughter Madeline's disappearance. Giving evidence in the High Court, Mr Bennett said he hadn't deliberately tried to flout the undertaking he'd given on publishing material about the McCanns. And he said if he had trespassed, he apologised to the court. Madeline from Rothley in Leicestershire was three years old in May 2007 when she went missing from her parents' holiday apartment in Praia de Luz in Portugal. The Portuguese police at one time named the McCanns and another man as suspects. But the Portuguese Attorney General said in July 2008 that there was no evidence of a crime by any of the suspects. In November 2009, Mr Bennett from Essex gave an undertaking to the court that he'd no longer publish the allegations the McCanns objected to. The McCanns barrister, Adrienne Page, said it had become a game of cat and mouse. Mr Bennett would take down internet postings that were challenged, but then something else would go up. After today's hearing, Mr Bennett told me he'd now end his campaign. I've got no plans to carry on because um, I'm exhausted from it all, from these proceedings, having to defend myself, so um, it's not my intention to continue, no. The judge is due to deliver his verdict on whether Mr Bennett is in contempt of court at a later date. Michael Sullivan, BBC East Midlands Today, London.